So here's before and here is after. Hi there guys, my name is Aaron and you can learn making create together with me in Adobe Photoshop. Today I'm going to show you how you can change the backdrop with some amazing digital backgrounds that I've created. So without further ado, let's get started. So here we are in Adobe Photoshop and as you can see before and after what we've done uh, with some uh, few changes here and there. And today I'm going to show you how you can change that backdrop or the background. So first thing first, what we need to do into this uh, portrait, we need to duplicate the background. We just drag and drop this to the plus and we click here on the select subject. Wait until the select subject is done. And once that is done, you can just click here on the uh, laser tool and click here that says select and mask. So I'm just going to refine the here around it so i'm just gonna click here on the refine edge tool and i'm just gonna brush it just like this until i think that the hair is refined very good so just like this now click ok and uh, once that we are done just click here on the layer mask and the backdrop or the background it will be automatically removed because it's in the layer mask so i'm gonna zoom in and here we have the hair that is kind of too much of the removal so i'm just gonna paint it with a white brush into the black layer mask just like this so we are you are bringing back the hair and now that we are done as you can see a before and after we need to drag and drop the digital background or the backdrop so here we have a digital backdrop so just click here on the move tool and drag and drop this to the original window and put this under the background copy and uh, transform this and make it fit for a portrait just like this and I think that it's looking okay. Now click here on the filter and click on the blur gallery and click on the field blur because we are going to add some depth of field into this portrait and uh, 15 pixels i think it's kind of not too much so i think that i'm going to increase it by 25 and as you can see 25 is kind of too much so i think that 18 is enough you can even add some bokeh to this uh, digital background as you can see when we increase the light bokeh click ok wait until it's done of course and uh, here we have or before and after of the digital background and uh, if you think that the backdrop or the background uh, that we just put it here is kind of uh, under exposed under exposed or exposed you can uh, play around with the uh, adjustments so i think that i'm gonna click here on the curves and reduce the highlight from this backdrop and here we have a before and after i'm just gonna click here on the gradient map and here you have the feather. I think that I'm just gonna. So as you can see, the light is hitting from the right and it's looking okay. But I'm going to transform the digital backdrop because as you can see, we have some sun rays from the right and the original portrait has the light into the left. So we have to click free transform and click here, flip horizontal. And here we have the highlights that is matching the original portrait. And here's the before and after. Now that we are done with the digital backdrop, we need to add some uh, color grade into this portrait. So I'm just going to click here on the actions, click here on the color grade light skin actions. And for my preferences, I'm just going to play A1. And here we have a before and after all this color grade, which is looking really good. So here's before and here is after. Here's before and here's after. Well, that's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this short video tutorial. Please don't forget to check all the links down in the description because you will find this amazing RAW file and all of my uh, digital backdrops that I've created recently. You can uh, click the link in the description and you will find my Etsy account and all my uh, digital backgrounds are there. So see you guys to the next one. Peace.